Hey, what's up, guys? The Books here again. Welcome back to Empire Total War. We're playing the Regiments of the American Revolution mod. And in the previous video that I made of this mod, we took a look at the Battle of Camden and we had ourselves a pretty cool battle. It was short, but realistic in outcome. And I think we made a good representation of the, uh, the actual scenario itself. A recreation rather um, and I enjoyed it it was very short I've got ourselves or we have ourselves now in front of us a different battle a battle of cowpens where I played as the Continental Army um, and in this very battle uh, there were less militia than we had in say the Battle of Camden so there's gonna be more uh, variety in uniforms and such so I thought this would be a greater battle and video to check out more of the US uniforms and since I was playing as the um, Continental Army um, when sort of saving the replay for this battle um, I will be uh, be sure to sort of give you guys a look at the units I deployed and such the British will We'll see what they have too as well, but since we went through their uniforms in the uh, previous video, uh, mainly, we'll, we'll focus on the Continental Army in this one. That's what I wanted to have said. And the Battle of Cowpens, well, uh, Continental Army was commanded by Daniel Morgan. The uh, British Army was commanded by uh, Colonel Banastre Tarleton, I think. If that's how you pronounce his first name, Tarleton. Some people call him Tavington. It's a it's an easier, easier way of putting it, I presume. Um, so, we have here some Continental Regulars from the North. Love the uniform. We've also got the uh, Mid-Atlantic Regulars. And the classic red, white, and blue. We've got the 2nd Maryland Regiment. We've got a couple of companies from that one. We've got Haslett's 1st uh, Delaware Regiment. A bit of a sound glitch there for a second. No idea what's going on. Plenty of continental continental militia. They were still coming throughout the war, so to speak. Um, but less and less as the continental army went more and more official with the forming of their regiments and such. We've got a lot of the a lot of the uh, Morgan's Rathman Corps here. Obviously commanded by Daniel Morgan. So we've got about four of these riflemen units here. And in the Battle of uh, Cowpens. Um, this is the map that I thought would be most suitable for it. Um, the Swedish forest map was also recommended to me, but I thought it was a little too snowy. Um, the Siberian Plateau map here has a kind of a good autumn feel to it, uh, and it's got the the forest bit that we need, and it's got just this, this kind of if you kind of disregard the mountains in the background and all that, yeah, this could easily be an American landscape with the small houses and logs and stuff. So I think it's very nice. My militia is going to engage the British army coming in from the front. We have here a lot of the 71st Fraser's Highlanders coming down through the center like that. More people on the flanks here. We've got an entire battalion commander. Yes. Uh, we're gonna have uh, Dragoons from the 17th Light Dragoons, and we're gonna have Bannister Tarleton himself back there in the distance. 7th Regiment, Grenadier Company, moving down the center. Two of them. Uh, we have the Royal Fusiliers Battalion Company from the 7th Regiment. On foot, we've got the 17th Regiment on the left flank, and more soldiers from the 7th Royal Fusiliers. Very nice stuff. My sharpshooters are still engaged in combat uh, with the British down there in the center. Sending volleys into my men. Look at them. This is really cool stuff. So this video is going to be more action-packed than the previous one. But what we managed to do with the Battle of Camden video that I did last time was have a really swift battle and really show how we owned the Continental Army and the militia, the ill-trained and poor militia that was just swept away by by the uh, the infantry 
with bayonets and the dragoons and the, the well-disciplined British fighting lines. Uh, it was just such a good display. And in the movie The Patriot, which, you know, you can, all, in all fairness, say what you want about that movie, but the scene where pretty much the entire right flank retreats on the, the US lines with the dra dragoons coming out through the British center, charging down the uh, militiamen fleeing and obviously the 33rd foot and everyone else there on the, that side, the 23rd Welsh was there as well, charging in with bayonets. So now we have the um, Daniel Morgan's rifleman course retreating back behind the Continental Militia, which is forming the second line. So we can see our riflemen are pulling back. We're bringing up some of the regulars. First, first Delaware on the right flank is going to take up the fight against the 17th and 7th here who have pushed our first line back so it's not looking too good at the moment we have definitely been pushed back a bit there's a major advance of uh, highlanders in the center and then they're gonna get extremely close here with the second maryland regiment but they're gonna reform quickly here we're gonna be exchanging more volleys we got the riflemen forming into smaller companies now doing volleys oh. lots of Brits coming closer now starting to kind of push us back Bit of a misfire here in the forest as our riflemen are poorly positioned here. That's really hard to see, especially when you were playing without flags. And for some reason, even when I was just getting the battle done for the replay, I was playing without flags. Uh, lots of good fire here, starting to kind of route the British on the right side and through the center. But we have a lot more uh, British, British regiments and companies and such moving up. Here's the seventh. Again, one of the battalion companies. We're going to reorganize our line and bring up the militia. And a lot of the uh, riflemen here from uh, General Daniel Morgan's own rifleman corps. Or Commander Daniel Morgan. I'm not sure if he was a general at the time. Left flank. Second Maryland Regiment together with Continental Militia. Or Continental. Not Continental. I used I did I did say continental a lot in the previous video, but was uh, righteously corrected. More units from the center that have broken off. So in the Battle of Cowpens, the uh, militia, or well, the amount of militia was less than we had. Oh look at that! We're gonna charge artillery. Yes, the British had exactly two guns in the Battle of Cowpens too. That were they've obviously they have been shooting at our lines and firing at our lines but we have been successful in breaking them down the u.s also had a lot of light dragoons deployed so we've got some of those here and we're now just going to be f squaring it off with tarleton's light dragoons as he's going to retreat banister tarleton is going to retreat himself the commander of the british forces this day the battle of cowpens a good american victory I've given you a British victory, a crushing Brit British victory, in the Battle of Cowpens, where most of the militia lines, in reality, as and also as in the video that I showed you, started pulling back before we got close enough to uh, to go in with our bayonets, so to speak. So that's rather dreadful there. But that was many years before the Battle of Cowpens, I believe. Um, and now, this. A different continental army. And Gates wasn't commanding, I presume. Hmm. There's a cool little resistance on this left side here. Where we have some troops from the 7th uh, Royal Fusiliers. Well, the Battle of Camden was one year before the Battle of Cowpens, but a lot of things can happen in a year. 
the militia men and the men from the second Maryland are going to exchange volleys with the seventh regiment Royal Fusiliers that is then going to retreat. I think this is a pretty cool map, as a matter of fact, for what we were doing. I like that to see the troops move around in the forest like this. It is a very cool picture. Very picturesque setting, and I think it worked very well for this battle. So now we've checked out more of the American uniforms. There it goes, right there. Uh, I believe the Americans had more troops deployed realistically as well. Losses aren't too far off. I, mean, I think that was uh, pretty good. We lost, our militiamen lost the most, and they formed the front lines. So we have way fewer losses on our uh, more regular regiments who were actually formed and deployed to the rear. The back. If you guys want to see more of this mod, be sure to let me know, and I will see you guys soon again.